can go through progressions. He can go through progressions probably better than Josh Allen did in terms of he had more well, I got numbers for that. Oh, I'll yeah. give them to you in a second. But here we see him going on this play, left first. He's reading left, manipulating that linebacker, and then comes right across the middle. That's anticipatory throw. That's an NFL type of throw. He's looking left and then throws it before the guy even makes his break, hits the tight hole. That's the throw he's going to make at the next level. And a lot of times you hear people say, he can't make the throws he's going to make at the NFL level. Well, he does it a lot on tape, but there's some bad as well. And there is there are valid criticisms of his passing attack. Yeah, so here's the thing. What you showed was high-level stuff. He got to a second read, and we actually tracked this stuff. He got to a second read out of the 10 quarterbacks that we charted, the top guys in the draft class, got to a second read the second most in the class. Yeah. So he does it. We just saw it on film. When he, also, when he does it, he's also the fourth most accurate. And that's a big deal because overall accuracy, he was last out of the 10. So his overall throw-for-throw throw accuracy is not there. So the high-level plays are there, but if throw-for-throw, throw, you're just going to say, Lamar, go throw the ball 10 times and drive me down the field, you're going to have a couple overthrows, a couple underthrows, you're going to have him throw wrong shoulder on the slant. The accuracy down-to-down down is an issue.